Now to disturbing findings released today by the Anti-Defamation League. Hate is on the rise in Illinois. CBS 2 investigator Megan Hickey has been combing through that new report. And Megan, unfortunately, several different groups are being targeted. Right, Joe and Erica, and in particular, researchers found significant increases in the number of anti-Semitic incidents, hate crimes, and white supremacist incidents in the state. Between violence against Asian Americans soaring during the pandemic. My dad was kind. To anti-abortion hate directed at women's health facilities. A person firebombed our Peoria Health Center after watching anti-abortion propaganda on his phone. I mean, if you don't like something, just don't show up for it. Vandalism against a suburban bakery for planning to host a drag brunch. And we had a incident this morning. To attacks on Jewish synagogues and cemeteries across our area. The Anti-Defamation League's latest report covering January 2021 to May 2023 shows these crimes now happen more frequently. Data is important because data drives policy. Community organizations and local leaders gathered at the Chicago Loop Synagogue to discuss the findings. The same synagogue vandalized and defaced back in 2017. The windows were replaced, the stickers were removed, but the invisible scars remain for all of us. There are about 300,000 Jews in Chicago. Daniel Goldwyn with the Jewish United Fund Jewish Federation says as a result, every year Jewish organizations budget at least $10 million to security. $10 million to harden windows, to put bollards out, hire security guards, do trainings, all of which were important. But imagine what could happen every year if that $10 million is put to much better use. The report also looked at the disturbing trend of law enforcement with extremist ties. I think we have two trainings uh, scheduled for December. Which is why Attorney General Kwame Raoul tells me they are focusing a DOJ grant on hate crime training for law enforcement. We have to recognize that and we have to have uh, mechanisms to, to Move that out. Also, thanks to a Department of Justice grant, Illinois will open a helpline next spring to support Illinois residents who experience bias or hate. This group hopes that will help encourage more reporting from residents who might be uncomfortable talking to law enforcement. In the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators. Megan, thank you.